is Kai from Kai and Izzy, and for today's video, I'm going to be filming the What's in My Backpack video. If you guys don't know, me and Izzy are starting school in two days, which means we'll be starting on August 16th, and I am not that happy, but I'm actually really excited at the same time. So basically, after you watch my video, make sure you go check out Izzy's version because she made the same exact video, but of course it'll be different. And, yeah, so let's get right into the video. Alright, guys, so my backpack this year, me and Izzy got the same type of backpack, but they're different designs. So, here's a picture of Izzy's backpack right here. Or a video, whatever. So, this is my backpack, and it is gray, white, and brown, and it has, I'm going to show you guys the design, it has a huge pocket, a small pocket, and it has two kind of cup holder things on the sides, and these cup holder things, I don't get why there's two, but I'll use one to hold my phone, and then I'll use the other to actually hold a drink, because it has Velcro, I'm not going to open it, but... It has Velcro, so it pretty much could fit stuff in it. So the brand that I got my book bag from is Emma and Chloe. And basically whenever you open up the tag, it just shows you my book bag and it points with the numbers and it tells you what each of those things are. So first I'm going to be showing you guys what is in the small pocket. So I'm just going to set my book bag to the side and I'm going to get those things out. So... The first thing that I have in my small pocket is a 100 stack of colorful um, index cards. And they do have the lines on them. If you guys can see those lines, they do have lines on them. And there is pink, orange, green, and yellow colors. And I actually bought these and then I came home and I looked at my craft basket and I had a whole stack of regular white ones but I'll use these up first and so I went ahead and bought them and then I will use the white ones after I run out of these and I just like using these for some side notes. The next thing and the last thing that's in the small pocket is these um, huge post-it notes that have lines. Like regular post-it notes don't have lines and it's like the sticky ones too. So yeah, that is all that is in my front pocket and maybe I will take these out and just place them into my locker and use the front pocket as a phone pocket just to where my phone doesn't fall out. So now we are to the big pocket. This one right here. So how you open it is you just, it like has a little metal clip things and they clip. And then there's like this like string thing right here. And once you put all your stuff into your book bag, you can just like make, scrunch it all up like this to where nothing falls out and then tuck your string in. And to keep it in place, there's like this little square thing and you just push it all the way to the bottom and it actually keeps it in place. And then once you're ready to get all your stuff out of your backpack, you can just pull this up and then open this up. So now I'm going to show you guys what is inside. So here's a little sneak peek of what's inside. So now I'm going to show you guys. The first thing is also these notes because I'm going to need a lot of things that I can take notes on and remind myself for projects and stuff. So basically I have this notepad and it's called, I don't know, the, oh, the brand is Crown Jewels. And it is a coloring notepad. It is color, style, and create. That's what it says on the back. That's what it says on the back right here. And basically, the thing of it is, I had like this really cute design up here that I could color with the markers or color pencils. And then it has the lines so I can take notes at the same time. And it also has a design at the end. And the bad thing about these is, um, all of the pieces of paper note things, they all have the same exact as design, so I can't really, like, do anything. So once I design one, I'm not going to want to design another one because they're all the same exact. But yeah, and they're not, like, post-it notes. They're just, like, ones that you just rip off like that. So that's the first thing in the big pouch. The next two things are two composition notebooks. And there's this diamond 
shape white and black one. And they have 100 sheets of paper. And if you use the front and back, it'd be 200 pages. And then I have this gray and black design. And yeah, that's the two composition notebooks. And if you don't know what grade me and Izzy are going to it this year, we're going into the seventh. And um, we both have the same exact electives. If you don't know what the electives are, um, if you're not in middle school yet, you, yours are specials. If you are in um, elementary school, yours is called specials. So it's the same exact thing as you guys' specials, but ours is called electives. So these will be really helpful for my electives, if I need any paper or anything. And me and Izzy have the same electives, which is jam and strings, which is basically orchestra. We play, I play the viola and Izzy plays the viola. So if you guys want to see a picture of the viola, it will pop up right now. Okay guys, so that is what a viola looks like. And then the next two things that I have in here are just some regular spiral notebooks. And they're one said subject wide rule notebooks and they have 70 sheets of paper in them each. I have a blue one and I have a black one. So those would be good for electives or for like classes that I need anything extra. And just click that into my binder. The last thing, well, not left, I'll show you guys these too. I just have some extra sheet protectors. I keep them in my book bag because inside my book bag, they gave, they put a pouch in there for a laptop or an iPad. And we use iPads, we don't use laptops. So that'd be good for me to hold my iPad. But if I don't feel like put my iPad in there, then I just leave these sheet protectors in. And I would definitely need these sheet protectors for orchestra just so I don't mess up any of my music sheets. So. I got these and I actually use these for some dividers because these are way better than dividers, I think. Because if you go and buy dividers, they rip really easy. And these don't rip, these protect paper really well. And they clip into your binder just like dividers do. So I just use these. And then, last but not least, I have my binder. And me and Izzy have the same color binder. We did not know we was getting the same color, but we ended up getting it. This is my favorite color, blue. And I love blue. That's my favorite color now. And right here, I just keep my schedule to where I don't get um, mixed up with anything. And I'm not going to show you guys my schedules because these have my teachers' names on them. And I really don't know if they would want their names on here, so I'm not going to show you. So basically, whenever you open up my binder, this is what it looks like. So I'll show you guys this part right here. So basically, I have a really deep pocket, so I'll just get this note card right here that I ripped out, and I'll just show you guys how deep this goes. So this is all that's sticking out from my finger and up, this little part right here, that's all that sticks out. The rest is down into a pocket, and then it also has a pocket in the front that's not as deep, just like that. So I'll show you guys with my hand too. So that's how deep it goes. The back pocket and the front pocket only goes this deep. So that's that. And then next I have my Chevron pencil pouch. And whenever you turn it like this, it is totally clear. So I'll show you what's inside that. I haven't took my stuff out yet because I didn't want it to get all messy and scattered. So first I have a pack of um, pins because pins are really useful for notes and they're really useful for maybe even orchestra if we need to label anything and some stuff has to overlap then pins are really good and I use um, paper mate I like paper mate ones but Izzy had some gel pens and I'm gonna see if I can get one of those because those are I like writing with those two things just so smooth to write with so that's one thing that is in my pencil pouch and the next thing and the last thing that's in my pencil pouch is some um, mechanical pencils it is a pack of 12 and it is the brand Bic Pencil Extra Life and yeah, this is what they look like. I have orange, red, and blue. And the funny thing is they only put two oranges in here. And then now, basically, I'm just going to show you guys 
how I do. I'm going to only show you guys one of these. So, this is the one, and I told you guys I use the sheet protectors. So, this is how I've done it. I put a piece of paper in there, and I decorated it, and put it inside there. And that's for each of my classes in here. And then in the very back of my binder, I just have some copy paper if I need it to copy down some notes or to do a design for a project or something. Okay, guys, so I really hope you guys liked my What's in My Backpack video. Um, make sure you guys go and check out Izzy's video and um, make sure you guys hit that like button, comment down below for some of my future videos, and subscribe to become a member of the KNI Squad, which stands for Kaya and Izzy Squad. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a really good time in your first day of school, because I know I will. So, peace. Bye.